Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the YouTube channel Plantastic. Today, we are going to talk about plant tissue culture in terms of the facilities, why we need to set up the facilities. This is because the air in the environment is not clean enough due to the presence of fungal spores and bacteria in the air. Proper workstations are needed for minimum quality up to the standard. The cost of setting up needed to be calculated for the return of investment ROI. So, what are the basic facilities we need in plant tissue culture for media preparation? When we talk about the media, we will think about the water. Water is the universal media. Alright, how do we get a good quality of the water? First, we need the distiller. Distiller is used to produce distilled water. There is mineral and microbes free. Secondly, we need the pH meter to measure the pH for the media. We need also the electronic balance to weight the chemicals and nutrients sorts. Stirrer, we need to stir the media evenly. And also microwaves that can be available in any household to boil the media to dissolve the agar. What are the basic needs for the sterilization and others? First, when talk about the sterilization, we are referring to the autoclave, which function to sterilize the tools and media. Laminar flow hood is used to produce the sterile air via HEPA filter for creating aesthetic condition. Glasswares. We need some glasswares like measuring cylinder for measurement, pickers and other glass containers for carrying solutions and our media. Benson burner which used to sterilize the tools. Standard steel surgical tools are used to perform aesthetic separation of plants. Lastly, the most important is the chemicals. The chemicals can be used in such a way that the ethanols are used for sterilization, surfactants are used for surface sterilization, nutrient salts are used for nutrients in the media. Alright, in order to start up a tissue culture, first, we need facilities set up followed by media preparation, accepted inoculation, and incubate the cultures in tissue culture room. Facility setups has to be planned in order to organize and maximize the workflow. For media preparation, we need to prepare stock and working solution. For aseptic inoculation, the surface sterilization will be carried out, as well as the in vitro multiplication. Don't forget to take some data for statistical analysis to study which treatment will give you the best response. You may also plan your experiment with design of experiments, which is known as DOE. For digital culture room, the more important besides the aircon is the lighting system, and also you have to check for the contamination constantly, also for the acclimatization purpose. Here is the workflow for micropropagation. From here, we can see that we need to start with literature research and get the facilities ready. Stage 1, we all have media preparation, followed by sterilization, aseptic inoculation, incubation, multiplication, and acclimatization. If this experiment is success, it will go through the acclimatization. However, if it fail or contaminated, we will restart back again to the literature research. Stage 0. To get the literature research done, we can study some published works which are available in journals and ebooks. You may search them through the search engine. You may find similar studies and refer to it. Secondly, for media preparation, you have to wet the chemicals first to prepare the stock and working solution. You have to dispense the working solution into each container by using glassware, electronic balance, pH meter, stereo, and microwaves. Stage 2. Sterilization. For a lab, autoclave is always used at a setting of 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. But for home base, you can use the pressure cooker with the stimulus setting to sterilize the media. Next, stage 3, aseptic inoculation. For aseptic inoculation, the surface sterilization protocol is carried out with the reference from the literature research. 
from there, we have to optimize the protocol by varying the type, concentration, and the duration of surface sterilization to be done based on the plant and the plant part you use. Stage 4. Incubation, Multiplication, and Acclimatization Successful azeanic cultures can be proceeded to multiplication and rooting, then to acclimatization. If there is any contamination, such as the bacteria and fungus was present on the media or the plant, the experiment has to be repeated to obtain aseptic culture. Note that the meaning of aseptic and azeanic cultures are the same, which is microbes-free cultures. Alright. What are the common mistakes in plant tissue culture? First, lamina flow hood did not sterilize properly with UV light and 70% ethanol. The researcher or technician does not have proper hygiene. He or she doesn't wear any masks, gloves, showering cap, goggles, and black coat. Furthermore, it might be because of the literature preparation was not enough. The contaminated cultures usually discarded without the decontamination process. This is very wrong because the bacteria or fungal contamination can bleed to biohazard to the environment. So how are we going to decontaminate it? In order to decontaminate it, we just sterilize them again with 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. So let's compare some laboratory and home-based tissue culture. For a lab, Advanced equipment was set up for higher accuracy. It was always prepared with standard operational procedures, SOPs, and material safety and data sheet, MSDS. Post analysis such as histology, biochemistry, molecular DNA can be carried out to study the effects of the treatments. However, laboratory setting is very high cost. For home-based tissue culture, it is suitable for hobbyists, or it can be set up for personal or very small-scale production. For a home-based lab, it is low cost, but it might have high risk of getting contamination. Alright, the discussion will stop here. Don't forget to subscribe, share and turn on notification. You can find me at the LinkedIn profile for connection. These are the references I used in this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.